What's up guys? Welcome back to Columbia Auto Service. Today we have a 2016 Hyundai Santa Fe with a 2.4 engine in it with 102,866 miles on it. And the customer states that the steering wheel, the controls on the steering wheel doesn't work. And um, last time he was in here for an oil change, we noticed that they didn't work because we couldn't reset his oil life on it when we done an oil change last time. And he had told me, yeah, he heard some noise in the steering wheel one time, and it, they had none of them worked since then. So I got a pretty good idea, but we're going to go through and try to check it out and see exactly what's going on with it and um, get him some prices and see if he wants to fix it or not. So let's start it up and see what's going on, if any of these controls on the steering wheel work. No horn. Yeah, we're getting no action from nothing on the steering wheel. No volume control on the radio. No horn. No steering wheel movement. No menu. I should be pulling up our menu. Yeah, we're getting nothing. We do have an airbag light on. That's a pretty telltale sign right there what we may have going on. We got an airbag light on. So let's go ahead. I've already got the, um, the little Bluetooth connector plugged in. Let me go ahead and get this vehicle pulled up on our little scan tool here. See if it's set any codes. All right, we got a battery voltage low. Occupant classification communication error. A warning lamp failure. Driver airbag resistance too high, stage two. Driver airbag resistance too high, stage first stage. Okay, you may be asking, what is the world does the airbag light have to do with these steering controls? Well, this is the airbag for the driver right here. And inside, in between this steering wheel and this steering shaft, there is what's called a clock spring that it has like connections that connect. And when you turn the wheel, it keeps from breaking the wires. But anyway, so we're gonna go in here and do a little research on all data about these codes, but I'm pretty sure we've got a bad, bad clock spring in this car. All right, about all the diagnosing the service manual's telling me to do is to go get on the scan tool data under the airbag module and see if it's setting resistance at that level right there. So I, we'll go check that real quick, but I'm pretty sure I know what's going on with this car. I think the clock springs broke. Okay, we're back out here with the scan tool. They wants me to look at the DAB second resistance, DAB resistance. Okay, okay. The DAB second resistance is 10.2. So that's out of the value that the service information was wanting it to have. Colton pull this clock spring out of that Hyundai. This is, I may have to put it back in the vehicle to show you how it works. 
most of you probably know how it works. But anyway, say this is a shaft coming up from the steering rack. It sits on the shaft like this. And then it's got some plug-ins on here that actually all your connectors plug in for your airbag, for your horn, for all your steering wheel controls, they plug into this. And then the steering wheel sits in here on this side with a plug-in right there. And then these plug-ins here go to your actual airbag. All this controls all your steering wheel controls and your horn and everything. And then whenever you turn the steering wheel, this part here stays, stays solid, but it can turn without having any wires going through it that break it. But anyway, that's probably not a very good example of showing you how a clock spring works. But it's, it's connected all inside of here. Anyway, I'm gonna call this guy's extended warranty company and um, see if they wanna buy him a new one. If not, I'll see if he wants to buy a new one. We'll break into this clock spring and see exactly how it works. This is this is the clock spring that we changed out, like I was explaining to you before. Anyway, it's got this ribbon in here, and it's broke right here. So the noise the customer had complained said he heard was whenever this clock spring broke. I don't know if you can see it, but it connects right there, and it's just a ribbon. So whenever you turn the steering wheel, it's, it's not wires in there, and it's just a ribbon in there that's wrapped around. Anyway, it's broke. But that's how the clock's, that's a clock screen. All these ribbons go inside of there. So now I can't put it back together. But anyway, instead of having just a hard wire going through there, whenever you turn it, the wire is getting twisted up. It's got this, this ribbon in there. It's got different little wires going through it. Clock spring works. It was broke. Anyway, that clock spring was broke. We were able to get the clock spring changed out and get all the steering controls where it works for them again. So anyway, that's just, if your horn doesn't work and none of your controls on your steering wheel work, 99% of the time it's gonna be the clock spring. And you just have to pull the steering collar, you have to pull that airbag module out, which is the horn, pull the steering wheel off, and then get in there and there'll be some way to, to pull that clock spring off of there, unplug it from the back, unplug it from the front, put another one in there, you'll be ready to go. So um, that's gonna be all from Columbia Auto Service for today. I hope this video helps you some way if you have a problem with your steering wheel controls not working.